In today's video, you're going to get to see a beautiful 1932 Model Y. Hello everybody, welcome to Classic Car Chit Chat. My name is Kevin. If this is the first time you're coming to my channel, then welcome. I really appreciate you being here today. If you've been to my channel before, then as always, welcome back. Thank you so much for the comments that you leave for me, for your thumbs up, for your subscribing to my channel, and also remembering to hit that notification bell so you know when the next video is being released. Today you're gonna to meet a gentleman, his name is Marcel, and he has a gorgeous 1932 Model Y or Ford Eight, as it was called. The car was actually built in Dearborn, Michigan. The car miraculously was actually hanging as a display at the Tip Top Taylor store in downtown Toronto. So without further ado, let's hop in, let's go for a drive and let's check out this beautiful 1932 Ford Model Y. Okay, Marcel, rev the engine for me. Okay. Whoa. That's music, my friend. <laughs> and hump the horn. Okay, come on out. Stop it. You can turn her off. Look at this thing. Oh, I like the door handles. There's only one way in or out. <laughs> Beautiful. Tell me what you got here. This is a, a 1932 Ford Model Y, uh, also known as a Ford 8. Uh, they were built from 1932 to 1937. It is the first Ford ever designed in Dearborn for outside of North America. Really? Yep. And it is the, um, this is the very first year. They only made it from, uh, for six months uh, the first year, because they didn't open the plant until August in Dagenham, Essex, England. Um, and then in 1933, it changed a little bit. Uh, this has 33 styling though, even though it's a 32. Okay. In 32s, the rad is straight up and down, and the uh, windscreen is straight up and down. But in 33, it changed. Oh, it's a slight angle, you're right. A slight angle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's around a third smaller than North American versions. Okay. And... Uh, for the European roads, basically? Was that the idea? Like a little bit smaller for Yeah, for yeah, because they had to all fit their roads. Oh, yeah, yeah. There was also... Uh, they were all called Ford 8s a lot because uh, there was a tax in England. And for every pound over, it was... Uh, Every horsepower over it was one pound. Uh, so there was, really? Austin, there was Austin 8s, Morris 8s. <laughs> yes. At Morris 8s, Austin 8s, Ford 8s. And it's based on horsepower. If it's based on horsepower, there's an actual calculation. I have it in the book, but I... But if they did that today, based on yeah. the horsepower we have in our cars, I, I know. You know, my MG's an exception, but hey. <laughs> That's amazing. The last thing I've done on this car, I built this car, with not without help, a friend of mine, uh, Lloyd Stewart helped me uh, 
build this car, an old hot rodder. And uh, the last thing I've done it was I got a pinstripe put on it. It was uh, last year. Oh, that is priceless. It has a uh, nine. That's, that's not hand put on, is it? Yeah, hand painted? that's hand painted, yes. Whoa. That's hand painted. That's an artist right there. Yeah, the, I actually, guy came to my house and did it. So you witnessed it happen. He didn't bring a piece yeah, of tape. Yeah, I saw him didn't... start it, then I had to go back to work. Oh, wow. Uh, has Amazing. a nine inch Ford rear end, uh, traction locker in the back. Um, it, it drove when I first got it. I saw it when I was a, a, um, in my early 20s. Uh, it was hanging up at the flagship store of Tip Top Tailors at Yorkdale Mall. Stop right there. This very car? This very car. No way. Yeah. So uh, what, like, uh, like hanging outside? Hanging out, no, inside. Inside the? Inside the store. They actually, they, Fawcett Motor and Carriage Company uh, ended up getting it when t Tip Top got bought out. Uh, and and uh, Tip Top they is, just so I'm clear, when we go down on Lakeshore towards Toronto, isn't that Tip Top? The big sign. That's their big headquarters, yes. But this was their fag flagship store where it was at. And which was where again? York, uh, Yorkdale Mall. How about that? So they told me they actually brought it down and had to drive it through the store, through the mall to get it out. So it was like a display. It was a display. It was. Uh, I found uh, plastic Christmas twigs inside the car because they put Christmas lights on it at Christmas time. Well, you know what? At least they displayed it inside the store. Perfect conditions, right? Yeah, that's <laughs> and no right. moisture. No, no moisture, no yeah, nothing. Yeah. So Fantastic. we drove this car one week after uh, I bought it. My father got it going. I get hot rodding from my father. Uh, my brothers are into it too, Armin and Danny. And uh, he is a 37 Dodge, my brother Armin. My dad's, in fact, Dodge pickup truck. Very really? rare. Also very rare. Never he, seen. Does he live in the GTA? No, he lives in Kitchener. Well, he's got stainless good. steel exhaust all the way through it. Lloyd Stewart, who helped me build it, uh, helped me with all that. Actually, yes, you could. Hey, talk about ground clearance, though. The uh, the speed bumps on some of our streets would Get, be, be a careful. bit of a hassle, right? But you have to remember, some cars are even lower than mine. True enough. Yep. I think the lowest part is my stainless steel battery box. Which is where exactly? On the other side there. It's lower? Yeah, you can, yeah, it's the lowest point, I think. Oh gosh, yes. So stainless. Yeah, you're not kidding. So you really do have to be careful. That's what, yeah, maybe yeah. about four or five inches if, if yeah. you're lucky. Man. Yes, for sure. Well, Lloyd Stewart told me with one of his hot rods, his, his wife at the time was driving it and she got stuck behind Cambridge Mall. They, were, they have great big bumps. Yes. They had to stop the car and they had to have a, a tow truck come and lift the car to get it over the bumps to get it out of there. So some cars are worse than mine. See it. <laughs> wow. And it has a Mustang uh, five liter uh, GT engine. I think it's a 2010 engine in it. Uh, it has a Heights front end that was modified. Uh, it cost a lot of money to modify it. But <laughs> only one person could do it. Really? Yep. And he even was a little, but it's a Heights uh, aftermarket, fr uh, independent front suspension in it. Um, I can tell you that, uh, that this is the original badge. I, I got a smile though. Eight horsepower. How yeah. about that? And that is uh, filled with 10 karat gold. Real? Real. Well, we did it, yes. Okay, so if you look the other way for me, let me grab my <laughs> screwdriver and I'll pry it out. <laughs> if, if you see it missing, you know where it's gone. Wow. That's, that's 10 karat gold, but it's the original badge. It was re enameled. Oh my. Yeah. So, okay. Marcel, a little bit more than eight horsepower now. Yes. How many horsepower now? I don't really know okay. uh, what original Mustangs had back then. I didn't really do too much to the engine. It's such a light car, I didn't really have to do too much to it. Right. But I did put, uh, I changed it to Edelbrock carburation instead of fuel injection. Can we take a look? Sure. Uh, yeah, this side is here, the best side for it. I have HID headlights. Beautiful. 
You know, I love the little elements like that, just the way they pop out of the yeah. fender and everything. These are all originally my turn signals. And, and the lights. These are, are original. Those aren't original. Those are Mustang. Okay. I mean, motorcycle. Oh, cool. Uh, right. Ones. Yes, why not? I, could, I needed something for, for, these are actually my running lights. Those are my turn signals. Oh, is that right? I think okay. so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's been a while, actually. But yeah, I'd like to find. Oh, wow. This is a Mustang 5 liter GT engine, 2010, I think. And uh, this is embarrassingly clean, though. <laughs> Jesus. Like, you even have this, uh, what is that, polished aluminum bag? That is a uh, polished non directional mirror stainless. Ah. Uh. Man, you can you can look in there and shave every morning. Hey, yeah, Marcel, you that's, can. It's just beautiful. I love the purple color too. Yeah, I found those and uh, I put them on because everything's purple. I found purple wires. Man, oh man, oh man. This is a uh, a one wire Ford alternator. Rather hard to find. Aftermarket. I got it in the states. One wire? Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, it's a one wire. Usually they're three wire. They're, the one wires are hard to find. Uh, Three hundred two. 302 cubic inch. Okay. We call it five or five liter. Five liter. Yeah. And then the powertrain also is off the Mustang? The uh, gearbox, uh, transmission? The transmission is, yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Get gearbox, yeah. Beautiful. These are all ceramic coated headers. I got them ceramic coated. That's just water that got on there that rusted. The actual uh, headers are not rusted at all. I, I guess they make their way through the uh, the little fins there, right? The so, heat? Yeah. Yeah, somewhat. They, they can, all hot rods run a little hot. That's what, Beautiful. And uh, So this is not the original color, right? No. The original color was blue. It was called uh, Orient Blue. Okay. It's kind of like a navy blue uh, with a, a pinstripe. And I just so happens I have a magazine with the actual color. Okay, no let's, color on let's it. take a look at it. Which uh, I love the suicide doors too. Yeah, absolutely. Good. In fact, in 1932, only three window coupes had had suicide doors in this car. Wow. So this is the original from this is 19 the, June 9th, 1953. Yeah, 33. 33. Sorry. 33. 33. Yes. yes. This is an actual uh, magazine for the time car magazine, which we all love. See, 8 HP. My God. So this is the UK version, because that's yeah, like four it, English pennies it, right there. Yeah, yeah, this is an English magazine. My God. And this is the actual color, and that's the actual color of the rims I had, yellow. They were yellow with a yellow pinstripe. So were they actually painted, do you think? Um, or was it, like, how did they get the yellow on the rims? Uh, they're painted right at the factory like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they were. They come right like. So it's like a two tone, a blue, and then the black on the fenders and everything else. Uh, yep. How cool is that? Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's a priceless photo right there. Yeah, it is. It? And you got this where? eBay. This magazine. Yeah. Yes. Amazing. My brother found it. Kept priceless. looking and looking and. I love it. And the, the magazine came from British Columbia, British Columbia, I believe. Right. Yeah. How cool is that? That's the actual color of what the car looked like when I first got it. Right. And it had a pinstripe then too? Yes. That's Very cool. Which is why I put it back yes, on. Yes, right on. I love this. So in terms of the interior, mm -hmm. this, um, you've had it redone obviously, but yep. uh, what would have been the original interior color? It was blue as well. Same color. Actually, let me go around the other yep. side. Same color as well. Yep. Man, oh man. It was all blue. Hey, there's not a lot of space in here, is there? No, no. It's, like pretty, it's, it's, it's pretty, almost like the passenger has to help out a little bit. And, uh, it's pretty cozy with the girlfriend there. Yeah, I bet it is. And this is how you get it in the back seat, like this. Wow. Nice. Oh, it, and it actually got wind down windows at the back too. Oh, yeah. And it used to have a little curtain you could pull down. Oh, well, for privacy uh, there, Marcel? Oh, yeah, at the is back. Yeah, 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 for privacy. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Is that the original dome light? No. Okay. No, I put that. That's in. okay. That's yours. I'm doing. Yeah. Beautiful. Look at this. You can get the vacuum. It didn't have time. Oh, not to worry. Hey, I love the steering wheel. Too. Steering wheel came from England. I bought it from England. I was looking for one of these kind with the with speckles it? in it. Yeah, it's got like and, metal flake in it. Metal flake, oh. and you'd think you'd get one in the United States, but yeah. I couldn't. 
they sell them, but they're green, they're every other color but purple. But purple. So I couldn't get it. So I got this from England. See, with a matching horn and everything. Awesome. I love the shifter as well. It has a, I think, an I did it. I did it aftermarket uh, steering column. So it is an automatic transmission. Though. Yes. Just, and the original shifter, Marcel, would have been in the center? Like it was in you? the center, yep. And it came up. I still have it, actually. Comes up and bends and comes way back over here. Wow. Yeah. And then the handbrake is here. Yep. Yep. It was, so you'd really have to get between the passenger's legs to get down there, if you will. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I bet you use the handbrake a lot. Anyhow, yeah. moving on. Yes. These dials are beautiful. Like oh, that stainless you. steel kind of... They're, uh, yeah. They're Ventique. Uh, I think they're called Ventique. And the reason I wanted them, because there's not a lot of room for different gauges, but these have all the different ones in one. In one shot, yeah. And uh, it's miles per hour, but they were... They, they said they were their most expensive ones at the time, at the time. Beautiful. And, uh... This car's got so much character, doesn't it? That's the original mirror. I had it, just had it re redone. No that's way. All, this is how they had it, like that? Oh, that's how it was, yes. How cool is Originally that? Originally in this car, there was a, there was a gauge here, and okay. that was your fuel gauge. Right. And your fuel gauge, which I have it, I should have brought it, has an actual glass tube in it that fills with gas for quarter, ha half, no three quarter, way. and full. Wow. Full. So if you had an accident, there was gas right there. The gas right in front, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man, oh man, oh man. Original. So, and the original car too, the size mm -hmm. of the running board would have been exactly like this? It was exact, these are the exact running boards. I just had them redone. Beautiful. What's on them is um, that impervious stuff uh, from uh, when they do truck bed liners. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I've seen yeah, that Yeah, well, before. it's impervious to almost anything. Right. And it covers everything really beautiful. That's I tried to put, I actually bought rubber for it, but it kept peeling off. Yeah, yeah. I bought it from England. It cost me a lot of money and I couldn't get it to stick. Right. But this stuff worked great oh, and it looks good. You know what I also like is on the edges of this, the chrome trim you've got there. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Yeah, it's all been redone. And this is it in terms of, there's no glove box or anything. The original there was. Car would not have? There was a little oh, was glove there? box in here, but no door. It was open. <laughs> oh, really? So it was so just cloth in there. It's just a little cubby. Yeah, so I said that's where the stereo is going to go. Absolutely. Very cool. How much space is in the back? Is there much storage at all? There's no storage. Nothing at all. So Nothing at no, all. So if you went grocery shopping with this thing, there's no place to actually put it. Uh, no. How about that? But back in those days, I think they had racks, and you on could put top. stuff on the on top. Yes. I, the roof is interesting. It's the one thing that's not original. Well, it is a, the whole body is original. Right. It has not been changed, except for the roof. The roof was that rubberized cloth, and it was all cracking, and it was all wood in here and stuff. And I took all the wood out, and we got I put steel all in. Okay. And this is a Ford Explorer roof turned upside down. No way. <laughs> and then made to fit. So the ridges in that were there as well? <coughs> in the Ford Explorer roof, wow. yes. That's why I bought it, because it's pre-done. Beautiful. It's all, it's, so it gives that rigidity. I love the look of it. Yeah. It's like it belongs there, It does, right? it, absolutely. But, but, but it's actually a Ford Explorer roof. But look at the fit on that. They've done an amazing job making this work. The size of the windows too. Again, all stock. This is the all original stock. height of the car. It wasn't, yep. hasn't been chopped or anything. No, no. Beautiful. No, the pillars were the hardest uh, to do in here. This is where everything kind of mounts together. Yes. And they were wood and they were dry, getting too dry. Right. And it took a lot, we had to take three pieces of steel and have them machined. I had them machined. Right. So that one could go la on, layer another and then layer another with the holes had to be exact for the doors. Got it. There uh, was a man called John Pappert in Kitchener, Ontario. Uh, who had a 1937 one of these, and he won the Riddler Award in, at uh, the Detroit show. Really? Yeah, well, okay. you can look it up. He's, he's one of the few Canadians that have ever won it. Only awesome. two or three have ever won. And Love he, to hear that. And yes. he has a 37. Uh, he's passed away since then, and I'm the, I've heard the car is down in California now. Beautiful. But a lot of people in Kitchener 
in Cambridge all knew them and they knew they said oh we know that car yes the legend lives on yes right? absolutely but it's the, but this is the only one that the model Y registry in England knows of in Canada beautiful uh, there could be others I don't know I love the, uh, the the mirror too so again this is that's an after, option you did that, yes right before it had right in here yeah uh, a contraption that screwed on here a turn signal and it went Oh, I love those. Yes, uh, yeah. yes, yes. And then, Different character. Yeah. And then you can put it back in again. Right. right and then, right. I think they later on, they put it right in the uh, this door jam here. Got it. But originally, it was a separate entity. Okay. And it would came out and lit up, and then went to go back in again. How cool is that? So, so I need. <laughs> so by law, I have to have at least one mirror. Okay. So I put two to make it look better. Why not? And I see that the uh, the front window actually does open. It right? does so open, it's yeah. Kind of a, a yeah. little bit thing. Yeah. So the original car would have had the same. Yep. Same opening. That's the air conditioning, I guess, built uh, yeah. in right there. Also, this too. This opens. Ah, right, right. Which I never always forget to open it. But. And the wipers would have been up here too. Uh, uh, they were, the but only on that side. Only the one? Yeah, only it's on that picture that you just. Uh, oh, I didn't even notice yeah. it carefully. Only so one, one wiper. Yeah, because the driving was on that side, right? It's true English. enough. Yes, 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 yes. Fantastic. So how on earth uh -huh. did one of these European-built cars end up coming back home to Canada or the U.S.? We think, we think that uh, the original owners of Tip Top Tailors brought this car in to Canada. Really? And I do know where it came through, Montreal, because I found a big Montreal sticker in that little cubby okay. hole you asked. Not the about. Montreal Canadians, right? Uh, <laughs> anyway, yeah. moving on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so that's how it came in. Uh, I asked Tip Top Tailors, I contacted them. Right. And everybody remembers the car, but nobody knows how it got there. So, so, I, so do you get a discount every time you go to the shop? <laughs> say, hey, I'm Marcel, I'm the one who has the car. Yeah, they all loved the car. I showed them pictures of the car. They all loved it. I bet, I bet. That's amazing. And yeah, so I, we think the original owners of Tip Top Tailors brought this car in. Fantastic. A and the reason I think that uh, it was brought in in the 40s or 50s, 1940s or 50s, is because at the end here, these tail lights were different uh, on the car. They were some big, ugly, ugly plastic things. And, right. I, and uh, the Model Y registry even said, those aren't correct. Okay. So uh, out they went. Yep. And these are aftermarket. And there's long ones you can get for North American cars, right. but there's also the, the aftermarket, they're called shorties. And okay. that's what this is, a shorty. Right because it, everything's smaller, so it looks, but it is period correct. It is all 1932 I love taillights. the look of it though, like just the way yeah. it protrudes out as well. Yeah, it's all And the original gas would have gone same still, location. Same location, that's the same original cap. Wow. This is an original tire. I was gonna ask you this, oh yeah, it actually says this that. This is one of the original tires. I had it painted when I had the car painted. So the original would have been wire wheels like this, bolt-on wire wheels. Yep, that's what they it. are. Just like in that picture, though they, I said they were yellow. Yes. Well, we painted one to make it look like the rest of the car. Actually, I'm glad you left that. It's a bit, it shows yeah. what the original look was like. Yeah, and that's the Ford, that's original Ford and everything. It's fantastic. Original bumpers? No. Oh yes, those are, those are 1932 Ford. These are the original bumpers on the car. I got them re-chromed. Oh, how perfect are they though? Like they're beautiful. I honestly thought it was designed as a hot rod bumper, but this is no, the original? this is the original bumpers. See, in 1932, the bumper goes straight across at the front and the back. But in 1933, it dips, it has a dip okay. in them. So we know this is a 32. Got it. In fact, the Model Y registry told me, they said they know when this car was built from the serial number. Amazing. So yeah, this is all original. The only thing that's different is the drivetrain, the tires, and I redid the interior and, and the driver's not original he's he's yeah. been around a bit but he's that's another story yeah awesome yeah. so in another 10 years this car will be 100 years old oh my god that is an anniversary right there isn't yeah. it beautiful i think you should uh get some balloons and a cake for sure <laughs> should we go for a quick drive sure we can do that all right now there's no seat belts that's just fine. to let you know yeah yeah it's original i'll just hold on to you which is original <laughs> <laughs> Hey, do that again. Sorry. So it's actually got a, a little notch. Yeah. Oh, you you added that? Nope. Oh, that's, that's original. And that just holds it up. Yep. The Both. other side doesn't have one. Okay, interesting. So that's right. why I always open this side. Got it. Yeah. But it's all. Uh... Very good.
They thought of a few things here, didn't oh, they? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that little notch is there, and I just put a little bit of rubber there so it wouldn't scratch the, the right paint. Yeah. But you see, you still get some. But... Of course. Hey, that's part of driving. It is true, indeed. It calls it character, but there you go. And then the latch again would They're have all been original. original too. They're all original, yep. So what gives it that tension, Marcel? Oh, there's Is a little a spring? a spring in here, yep, wow. yep. Very nice. Yep, then there was a little rubber in here, but they were all cracked and I had to replace them. Fantastic. And I noticed you opened the door from sticking your hand out. Yeah, because it just sticks a bit. Okay, but so. there is an opening from the inside too? There is. Okay. Oh yes. Yeah, I can show you. Let's see. Just that it's a little harder. Yeah, a little harder. Are these the originals? Oh, everything's original. So imagine how many people have touched this. Oh uh, yeah. Right? Yeah, I, I was going to get Including Mr. Tip Top himself. Including Mr. Tip Top himself. I was going to put the chrome them, but I never got a chance to. I kind of... Actually, I like it the way it is. Yeah. You know what? It just, uh, it's a reminder. Yeah. Beautiful. I know these are all original. And this little lip here, I noticed. That's where you can close the door. Oh, that's your handle. Yeah. Right on, yes, because there's nothing else. Oh, wow. Well. Oh, it's funny you say that. Yeah, now you think, yeah, where is the handle? Yeah. So there's no way to do it otherwise. No. Okay. All right, let's go for a quick drive. Okay. So. Oh, it's comfortable. Oh, yeah. All right. All right, you're all in? Yeah. Okay. Hey, it is cozy. Yeah. <laughs> the suspension is, you might hear a few bangs in the back. That's I right. need to get my springs done, but mm -hmm. I don't have time. I need someone to do it for me. The, the springs are a little, are in the back. I've already placed them twice and it's still not right. Hey, Marcel, you really got to like the person you sit beside in this thing. Hey? That's right. Yeah. Definitely on a first name basis. That's, oh, listen to that. That's the way it is in England, eh? It's all... Oh, yeah, every, everything's close. Cool. That's why I have so many kids in England. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where did you want to go? Oh, we're just going to go out. We'll go uh, for a little drive up Main Street. Doesn't have power steering. No. And the reason I didn't go with a, st with a manual, because there just isn't room for the third pedal, really. Got it. <laughs> there just isn't room. So this yeah, is you're not, easier. You're not kidding. To, like, and even to put your foot, you're yeah. actually putting on that little yeah, thing, yeah. Okay, so you can go out there, and we'll turn left, okay. and then right at the stop sign. Okay. So where do you live? I live right by Aaron Mills, so not far from here. Oh, I see. Like off Thomas Street or something. Uh, Aaron Mills Parkway and uh, Eglinton area. Oh. Oh yes, she's got a little bit of power. So we'll turn right here. Now brakes are not power brakes, are they? Yeah. The they are power, power brakes. brakes okay. Yes. Oh and the indicator light comes on here too. Very yeah. cool. Yeah. Oh, she's so much fun to drive. Oh yes. Once I got the independent front, it drove a uh, hundred times better. This is new, eh? Yes. If you hear a bang, it's just that it's a bump. Okay. It bottoms out a bit. I gotta get it fixed, but I, you know, summer seems to fly by and then I don't get it and another year goes by. And... That's the Mustang engine at work oh, right yeah. there. Beautiful. I had to have that sound. Oh, you do? Well, my father had a 32 Ford Roadsters when I was a little boy. So did you learn to drive in that car? No, no. What was the first car you bought for yourself? Uh, Volkswagen Jetta. A Jetta? Uh, yeah. Really? Volkswagen okay. Volkswagen Jetta. Not the Beetle, but a Jetta? Yeah. Okay. And but your love for classic cars has been there, I guess, forever. From yeah. your dad, too. my father had a '67 uh, Mustang GT, 
candy apple red oh. with the um, with the uh, pony package and everything. Tell me you didn't take that to school. <laughs> Did you? Did well, you have to take it to high school? I was too. No, I was too young. Man. Oh my! I was just a boy. Are your brothers older than you? Younger. Younger, oh, okay. So none, you, none of you got to take it to high school then? No. And, uh, and then my father had two Corvettes as well, a 72 and a 74 Wow. as well. But he also had lots of hot rods. And he, and the last hot rod he has is the one my brother owned. It's, and he still got it? He still got it. Fantastic. And it's the only 37 Dodge pickup I've ever seen. Really? Even at car shows, I don't see 37. So it's very rare. Very and rare. we're going to turn right. Um, in here, Water Street. This street here? Yep. Hey, the brakes are pretty good, Marcel. Oh, yeah. Power steering, oh, no power steering, just uh, power brakes. Yes. And then right again. Okay. So the original indicator would have been in the same spot there, on the right-hand side of the steering? The switch? Um, oh, for it to pop in and out? Actually, it was, it was right here. It had oh. to go left to right on a switch. Is that right? Yeah. So what's the second lever on the steering column then? Uh, that's to make it tilt. Oh, okay. Make it tilt. Yeah. Fantastic. It turns a lot of heads though, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> First of all, you hear her coming. Uh, and then the look of her. It's tough to see the traffic lights, though, isn't sometimes, it? You're, 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 you're kind of doing one of these. Sometimes I have to go like this a little bit. For sure. Yes. We almost chopped the roof. I saw it, like we could do it digitally on a on, and it avoided ever look mean looking. Oh, I bet. But I thought the car's already small enough. Yes. <laughs> so I never did that. Can I go? Yes, you can. Yeah. Sometimes you have that little reflector thing to to see where the there traffic is, light. Yeah. But you know what, in the UK, this is perfect because the traffic lights are all lower. Yeah, right? exactly. And there's around three or four hundred left in, United, in uh, England. Right. I'm sure there's probably a couple in the United States, but, uh, but this is very first year and the Model Y registry said it, it is even rarer because of that. And I've had uh, gentlemen come from the United States at car shows. Yes. Uh, and they said they've traveled all over car shows, they said they've never seen this Ford ever. Beautiful. That's kind of nice to know though, isn't it, in a way, that not yeah. only do you have a, a beautiful car, but it's so rare. And they said that it was... I'm uh, turn left here. Yep. Yeah, yeah. This is before Prefex and before Anglias. Right. This is the very first Ford in England. I know what the Prefex is, yeah. and I also know what the Ford <laughs> Anglia is. They're yes. all before this, after this. Right. They built this till 1937. Amazing. And this was in the Dag Dagenham plant. Dagenham plant. In, uh, in England. You have a lot of fun with her. Oh, yeah. Now, there's no heater and stuff like that, no, is there? No. Okay. No, no heater. Just, just the engine is uh, enough to enough. keep you toasty, yeah? yeah. Now, the original wipers would have been pump action? Uh, they were vacuum. Vacuum, okay. Very slow. And with only, not two wipers, only one. Only That's the all. one. Only the driver needs to see, right? Yeah. So, mind you, it rains a lot in England, so you think they would have <laughs> had two, but anyhow. Yeah, you think. Brings a smile to your face every day, though, doesn't oh, it? Oh, yes. I like this car. And it's, you know, one man at one of the car shows came up to me and says, I know where this car came from. I said, where? It was Tip Top Taylor's. Oh my God. One guy remember. Uh, left here. Over here? Yeah. He actually recognized the he car. He recognized the car. In fact, I got this, I first saw this car after it got sold by Tip Top to Fawcett Mortar and Carriage Company in Whitby. Okay. Um, at the Markham Auto Show. And it was for sale. And my father says, because I've been looking for two years to buy a hot rod. <laughs> Something to build a hot rod? And he goes, that's the car. That's the one. So this is the car I got. I chose because of my dad and helping me. And Fantastic. Would have made your dad proud for sure. Yeah. 
but a lot of these got cars got used up in England for stock car racing. Did they really? Yeah, all smashed up, and a lot were used for the war effort for the metal. Yes. So there's not many left. Which is uh, makes it even rarer, though, doesn't yeah. it? Amazing, beautiful. Okay, let's uh, come on out there. So to open it again, this lever does it work? Or should I do the outside thing? Uh, try it. If you can't, then I'll do it. My girlfriend can't. Yeah. Oh, there yeah, we go. Yeah. Girlfriend can't figure it out. <laughs> Is she listening? Well, she will be listening. That's okay. Watching. Yes. What's her name, by the way? Karen. Karen. You, just so you know, Karen, I couldn't do it either. So. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, Marcel. Absolutely lovely. That's a replica. Like the, the rad was taken uh, and a company in London, Ontario made it three core and it's all aluminum rad. So we could take the, add more, the higher horsepower. Right. And keep her cool. Keep her cooler. Yeah. That bloody dog is still barking. <laughs> Anyhow, wow. Marcel, what can I say? I love it. Absolutely <laughs> beautiful machine. There's something about these cars, right? Yeah. The Model Y. I never even heard of it. No, nope. a lot of people say I don't know. Never that. heard of it until I met you. Is it? Yeah. And I'm thinking, because I know you even wrote it down for me. Yeah. Why did, he, did he put that? Maybe it's a Model T he meant to say. No. Model Y it is. Yeah, or a Ford 8, as you saw in the magazine yeah. there, or in here. It's and they were so proud of the 8 horsepower, yeah, too, right? Yeah, because there was Morris 8s, like I was saying, yeah. Austin 8s. Oh, lovely. Okay, Marcel, thank you so much for making the time to come and talk to me today. This is truly a gift of a car. It's just beautiful in so many ways, and it's got everything going for it, and it's absolutely stunning. And it's so rare. From yeah. Tip Top Tailors to you, which yep. is incredible. Tip Top Tailors to me. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome very much. I appreciate it.